New details tonight about one of the worst hit and run cases we've ever seen. A woman hit by as many as five cars in Everett and not a single driver stopped to help her. Her name was Rochelle Everett. She died Wednesday morning, almost one week ago today. And tonight we're learning more about her and the life she left behind. Good evening, I'm David Rose. And I'm Hannah Kim. She was 41-year-old mother with three children who are devastated with the loss. Fox 13's Alejandro Guzman joining us in the newsroom now. So, Ali, you spoke with her son about what happened. I did, and I can tell you he's heartbroken, and he is now asking for those drivers involved to turn themselves into police, but despite the heartache, he says his mom's death is making a positive impact. Call 911, someone just got hit. A devastating incident. A 41-year-old mother of three hit and killed. They deserve something proper, not this, left on the road for everybody to see. It's disrespectful and it's horrible. A heartbreaking situation to witness. Nathan Bernal was working nearby when he rushed to the mother's aid after Everett police say she was hit Wednesday morning. The first person, that person knew what they had done. Dawson Worgan is grieving his mother's loss. Police say Rochelle Everett was hit as many as four or five times by different drivers. They probably were super shocked at what they had done and maybe scared and that caused them to go. Here she is with her children who are now grown. She could always comfort me and my sisters could attest to the same thing. And she loved the crud out of us. Their tenacious warrior, as they called her, taken too soon. Rochelle struggled with substance abuse, a reason why her son says she might have been out at 4.30 in the morning in that part of town. If it was an accident, they did, in fact, make it a lot worse. I leave her. A witness captured these images, a barricade of people trying to protect Rochelle's body, yet traffic didn't slow. A second silver or gray vehicle hits her. Her body thrusted onto other lanes, causing several drivers to run her over. You need to own up to what you to your wrongs and to receive the proper justice for that and that's the only way to feel peace is to go through the proper steps to get there dawson is pleading for those responsible to do the right thing and turn themselves in i've just been extremely grateful this whole time and reflecting on the miracles that led up to the unfortunate event of her passing away. He says his mother's death will not be in vain. A family member who's been struggling with a fentanyl addiction has decided to seek treatment and detox for the first time. That would be the best way to honor her would to be to clean up their life and to become a better person that way. Rochelle's children hope her loss will inspire others to seek treatment. While police are still trying to track down the drivers and make an arrest, her family is raising funds to lay the mother to rest and help their loved one with their recovery. We have more information on how you can help at fox13seattle.com. Back to you.